Hello, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a new video. Now today I am jumping on the server on Fresh Wipe. Everybody's throwing spears at each other. Nobody knows what's going on. Oh, but just a quick heads up. They are going to be releasing night vision goggles and electric heaters and a bunch of other stuff in the next Rust update, which is coming out in a few days. I will be making a series on that, but that's not out yet. So to start things off, I'm going to find a place to live. There was an island on this wipe, but I decided not to live on there. I do love islands, as you'll remember from the last video, but I wanted to change it up today and find somewhere else to live. So without further ado, it's been basically wipe day. You guys know the deal. Everybody is primitive. Everybody's going crazy and it's just a load of fun. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's a fight. I killed them both. A little bit naked, Whoa. maybe. Ah, thank you, my friend. Give me the loot. All right, I got a kill within the first two seconds of being in the game. Got tools right off the bat. Do I kill the fresh spawn? Hello there. Andy! Whoa. Ah, where? All right, so, yeah, two islands. That one's quite further away from the mainland, um, whereas this one connects to the mainland with shallow water. What I mean by that is you can walk to it without having to swim, which is always really good with islands. I'm not going to live on either of these islands, because in the last video, I lived on an island. And as much as I love islands on Rust, I want to switch it up today, and I want to live near a road or near something else. So I'm going to go ahead and probably live near the satellite dish. It's quite close to the outpost. Decent area. I'm probably going to go and live in a forest over there. Hopefully, there'll be bases to raid, things for us to do. And as you can hear right now, there's people with revolvers around here shooting over there because there is a lighthouse on this island, which is pretty neat. But either way, I'm not going to live here. I might come back here later to do a raid. Okay, so I left on my journey across the map. And there was one question on my mind while I was sitting at the bandit town gambling with this random naked next to me, who, by the way, was pretty cool, even though he did beg me for scrap, which I never gave him. Stop begging people for scrap at the bandit town. Not cool. One thing I need to know is why the hell has Rustified become such a breeding ground for clans? Everywhere I looked on this map, there was a massive clan. And don't forget, this was the first day of the wipe. How on earth have you managed to build a base of that size on the first day of the wipe? I have no idea. But either way, I was looking all around the map for a place to live that was solo friendly and wasn't filled with clans. And it was very freaking hard. So, also, I died. <laughs> what the f***? Yeah, that happened as well. Anyway, while I was on my journey, I got really lucky. Some of you might say this was scripted. No, don't worry. This is not a Rust Academy or Andy So I Am video. Don't worry. You will never know the secrets of being a YouTuber. No, this wasn't scripted. Um, and it was pretty damn cool. So enjoy the free loot on wipe day from a decayed base. This base was made out of wood and that's why it decayed so quickly. Anyway, it was a good start for us. Oh my God. What? I decayed one by one. We've saluted it. Hey, what is this? What is this? Okay, I'm overreacting slightly, but I'm sorry, but I've just been running around the map trying to find a place to live, and I find a one by one base that has this freaking loot inside. What? All right. Scripted. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, metal tools. I don't know. It makes no sense. Loads of stone. All right. I might have to live here, you know? I can break that. I can take over this. Need a little bit of wood, so let's quickly farm a bit. I'm taking over this. It's not a one by one, sorry. It's a two by one. I didn't see this foundation, but, um, right, I'm gonna take over this base. I got no idea how or why it's, uh, got all this looting and basically how it's decayed. All right, that's a pretty damn good start. <laughs> all right, boom. Door is down, lock is on. Go into this part of the base, add that. Three it's stone. All right, now I'm gonna start destroying this wall and then the base will be ours. Perfect start. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Voila. All right, sweet. Okay, wait until I get some morning time, and then I'm going to check the area out. Probably store away the guns for now and just go out with a bow because we need to get some animals. We need to get some food. We're starving. 
We need to get some basic resources and upgrade this base a little bit. Oh, who else does that that plays Rust and watches my videos? Accidentally shoots their gun. It happens to me at least once a week. And I've been playing this game for five years. Once a week, I'll accidentally shoot my gun. So this base was made out of wood. And it's de the reason it's decayed so quickly is because he didn't put wood inside his tool cupboard. He had everything else. Stone, metal, frat, like everything. But he didn't have wood. So it decayed really fast. For those of you that don't know, depending on what you build your base out of, depends on how quickly it will decay once it runs out of resources inside the tool cupboard. Wood decays really quickly. It takes about an hour to decay after you've, or maybe a little bit more, but something like that. So this guy's just let this base decay and probably still online. He probably didn't even realize. He probably forgot about this base. But anyway, thanks for the hazmat suits and everything else. I'm going to go out, do a bit of farming and upgrade the base a bit. Get those furnaces down. Oh, two players here. <laughs> Got him! Oh, this naked was being chased by this guy. I saved the guy's life. Hey, I'm a gamba. Bon voyage. Okay, so this is the neighborhood we're living in. We've got the water treatment quite close to us. We've got um, a road. But this is not a clan area. Oh, there is a base over there. That, that's a clan, but... At the same time, it's not like massive clan, you know? It's 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 not too bad. Helicopter right there. It's flying around. Okay, so yeah. In other words, I'm quite happy to live around here. Seems alright. I'm definitely gonna do a raid today. As I'm exploring and farming and check and adventuring around this area, I'll uh, also try and target a base. For now though, we are just going to play the game. Oh, helicopter's back out in full force. I absolutely love in the helicopter. Recognize this guy. This is the guy that I killed that had the spear just a few moments ago He was chasing a naked that had nothing. He didn't even have a sash But with this guy you get two for one because he's a door camper as well <laughs> But anyway, this could have ended it all he managed to get inside my base This was the clutchest moment of the freaking day. Oh my god Oh my god! Woo! I will get you. You could have literally grabbed a gun and completely ruined my day. Clear authorization. Oh my god. Right, let's get an airlock down before that happens again. <laughs> That's the guy I killed that had the sword. Bro, you came so close. Why not just grab a gun? You could have grabbed a Tommy, mate. <laughs> I would have been out for the count. So I went out and did a bit more farming. A little tip for you guys, if you do get door camped, most likely they're going to come back and want to door camp you again, especially if they managed to go deep the first time. So when I got back to base, I was very cautious and I wasn't taking any risks. So I crouched up to my base and checked everywhere around the base before going inside. Make sure you do this, guys. One of the main reasons people get taken out early game, especially new players, is from door campers. It's the same guy. He must think I'm stupid. Where's your Ryoka? There it is. I, knew, I, I just knew it. I knew he'd be out there. What I'm going to do is there's a chain link fence in here. Um, right there. I'm actually going to add an airlock to the front and put this chain link fence down. I never usually use a chain link fence. But since I don't have enough for a sheet metal door right now, it might do the job, to be fair. Chain link fence is down. Chain link fence is the new meta. <laughs> I have never used a chain link fence in my entire Rust life. This could be the new thing, though. Hey, it's, it, it looks... Look at that. I love the way it sounds. To be fair, chain link fences, they, they're quite underrated because... They really are, like, the sort of thing you think of when you think of, like, a post-apocalyptic world. Like, chain link fences everywhere. But maybe I've watched too much Walking Dead. I don't know. Sleeping bag is down. I hear a player farming. There's another player to the left as well. He can't get in. His own base. Killed him. His friend must have placed a code lock down. His friend's over there farming. Well, I didn't, I, get, I didn't get much loot off him, but still. 
Sounds like one of my neighbors is being raided. Sounds like these guys have got revolvers. They're getting really bad satchels. It's pretty damn close. Healing up now. Yep, I see them. They're geared. One, two, there's quite a few. And there's a guy with a spear there. Hit him once. Sounds like they're rolling with revolvers. There's a guy right there. Hit him once. Got some basic gear. Still quite low on health though. Don't know what's going on with this raid. I'm gonna heal up a bit more and then go and investigate. Killed him with a double barrel. Super low on health though. I need to push back before I grab the double B, uh, the DB. Oh, AK. Oh, I'm dead from the AK. Damn it. Still might be able to get that double barrel though. Player there. Oh, I killed the guy that killed me. He's got the DB on his body. What an absolute idiot. He was just stood there like, what? Okay, I don't know where my bow's gone. I'm just going to quickly go back to base. I really don't know what's going on with this raid, but yeah. Hey, at least I got my little bit of loot that I managed to scavenge, scavenge right there. Push this back to base. All right, so quick little update, guys. I've upgraded my base a little bit. I've added a bit of honeycombing and a little bit of metal as well. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to definitely raid one of the bases around me. The guy that was door camping me, I got no idea like who he is. Um, so, but we'll see if we can figure that out because I'd like to raid him if possible. But I definitely know that he lives in one of the bases around me. I just don't know which one yet. One eternity later. Right, so when I recorded that last bit you just heard, it was a few hours before this right here. What you're hearing is a bunch of people geared outside my base fighting one another because what's happened is that a massive group has decided to build right next to me. They've got bolt actions, they've got LRs, they've got AKs, you name it, they've got it. I'm not going to be able to do a raid around this area at all. So um, yes, I spent a lot of time AFKing in my base because I was too scared to leave. I am not going to be doing a raid around here, which is unfortunate because I would have liked to find out where that door camper lived. So basically all I need to do is craft a few more bean cans, that's enough for 10 satchels, and I'm going to find a base around this neighborhood to raid. There's a massive base down there, those guys have got LRs, um, so yeah, there's a lot going on around here. Basically, hopefully I don't get counter raided, that'd be amazing, but you never know, it could happen. So I'm just going to do a bit more farming, but I'm also going to look for a base to raid, a raid target. There's a few bases in the snow here, these could be good bases to raid, because that way I'm not going to get countered and killed by AKs which would be ideal. Um, see, there's a nice base here. I quite like the look of this. Let me just get a closer look at it. So it's got metal on the top there. Entrance is right there. Oh yeah, this could be this could be juicy. All right, let's have a look. So, got metal right there. Why has he randomly got metal there? That makes no sense. Clearly, this base, very close to dome, this guy. So he could easily nip over there and get loot. There could be tons of stuff in here. I'm just gonna have a look if this is a bunker. No, these are foundations. So yeah, his loot, this guy's loot is probably easy, just at the back. Right, well, there you go. I think this is my raid target. You're always taking a gamble with raids. In my opinion, it goes through here, it wraps around here, and then his loot room's right here. Boom. Quickly stop off at the abandoned supermarket, use the recycler, get these sewing kits turned into rope. Okay, I just got a pipe and revolver from a box. Okay, boom. Got the satchels. Got some wood, got some stone, got loads of ammo for some reason, way too much. Let's put away a little bit of that. <laughs> and we're pretty much ready to go now. I'm a bit scared because I've heard a lot of people around my base. I don't know, like we could die on the way there. In fact, I can hear a helicopter right now. So it's literally just a straight path there. We'll be good. You know when sometimes you get that weird feeling that you're going to die? I have that feeling right now. It's in my gut. It's a sort of sixth sense. I have that exact feeling right now. Just need to override it with confidence. <laughs> okay, I will not die. I don't want to meet a clan guy that's just out here farming. Because you know the snow is all for heaven, as I've said many times in many videos. Woo! Okay, I'm going to go through the side here. There's two snap traps there. All right, let's do this. Get 
off the ground so I can see everything. One more. Two more and we're in. Two. We're in. There's TC. TC's unlocked. Nice. Patched up the base. Nice. Okay, what's inside here? Woo! Right, we've got the Yokers. Revolver. Not looking good yet. Wait. <laughs> Boom. Nothing. Okay. Boom. Some hide pants. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I will take it. A pump shotgun and some stuff in there, but not much at all. A little bit disappointed for this, but at least I didn't die. That's the main thing. All right. What the name of the bags? The name of the bag? Zero, 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 zero is the name of that bag. Okay. Yeah. That's exactly the amount of loot I've got in this base. Zero. Um, right. Well, um, I'm going to craft a double sheet metal door. I'm going to patch up this base and put a door down. And then we'll wait a little bit because there might be a guy outside right now. Who knows? And then we'll leave. Yeah, there's not going to be anything else in this base. This, this is going to be their main part. I doubt they've got anything else. Uh, is there a box underneath there? No, there isn't. You never know. They could have hidden. Door is down. Lock is on. All right. Wait a little bit in here and then leave. Let's go back to base. You might be wondering why I'm starving because I died. Uh, from the coldness and I had to run back naked in case uh, any of you are wondering Yeah, usually when I do a raid I as I as I've already mentioned I kind of go afk in in the base just to make sure that there's no one outside like door camping But obviously cuz I was in the snow I died of coldness had to run back naked I just thought I'd tell you in case you were wondering cuz it's um, that tree is perfectly Covering me from the roof camper clan next to me perfect op trees right made it back Let's go ahead and deposit this loot real quick. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end the video right here. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that the next wipe, I'm going to play a lot more because there's a new update. I've got a bit tired of Rust lately. I don't know why. I just feel like there's not been much change the past month or so. Obviously, we've been playing this update for a while. So we're finally having a new update. They're bringing out loads of new stuff, including night vision goggles and a bunch of other stuff as well. So you'll get to see all of my coverage of that on my channel. Um, I'll be covering it all um, on a vanilla server, so you get to see my perspective of that. And that will be, and the first episode of that series will probably be coming out on Sunday. So, thanks for watching anyway. I love you guys. I appreciate the support. Chainlink fence for the win. Just an ordinary day. I was